So what is going on guys? So today I'm going to sh um, talk about the Christmas event. I made a first video about how it went totally wrong and then now is the part 2 where they fixed it. It took them many days. Um, I made it somewhere early December and this is early January so it's like it's been about a month. So let's go ahead we're gonna hit control I or hold alt and uh, go to Allure storage so basically they give you a compensations for those days so let's go ahead and collect all of them I'll make a separate video on the uh, boxes so I will not touch them in this um, but they give you quite a few of the same snowflakes they give you some dungeon entrances and they give you a lot <laughs> this is nice <laughs> they give you a lot of dices all right um so let me yeah all right so first of all let's before we begin to look into all these um these snowflakes and this dungeon entrance let's take a look if the quests are fixed because they are extending <clears throat> the quest to how far you can do it until um come on there we go so that's not the one we want. The quest that was broken is where you, the, the dungeon was broken and the feast box. I think they renamed it because it used to be called Mary Box. So I assume they added a new um, new type of boxes. So let's go ahead and take a look around. Let's try to open a regular Mary box. It should not complete us a quest. No. Okay, so when you get the feast. Okay, okay, I got you. So you gotta get the feast box inside of the Mary box to get that quest. Okay, that's pretty simple. And you should not open it, otherwise, it's gonna go to a different quest. So you're just gonna have to keep at least 10 nearby you. Okay, so I collected all 10 boxes, I'm gonna head back to where the main quest giver is. Alright, the quest does indeed show us as a green quest, and we go ahead and do that. Let's see, give us some rewards. Let me just take a look at rewards again. It's been a little long since I... Okay, so you have enough to actually get a snow flat and uh, come back wolf. Um... So you get tempering boxes, Ellen boxes, and I feel like this is the most important one where everybody wants is the title. Since I already have the title, I probably will not spend on it. <clears throat> but yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the dungeon quest. So just want to add some little feedback um, how I feel about this event, right? This just just saying it from my perspective so when we when we look at the rewards and when I read up on uh, what's next and said about uh, they posted basically an update of uh, the rewards and what are they based on so you get all the snow flowers and all the dungeon entrance and dices based on how much you would get if you were to do an event um, every single day So pretty much you didn't have to do anything and you got all the rewards for free um, Pretty much because they messed up So in that aspect, I can't I can't really be mad at them You know, I didn't do any work and I get all these rewards for nothing. I think of it just as a late Christmas present that's all this the only thing that really makes me mad and probably would make a lot of people mad is they don't they don't communicate it they just I know they just look like they ignoring our messages about this event and they don't listen um, if if they were said something like yeah we messed up expect an update this date we'll try to fix it and you know everybody's kind of happy everybody's looking forward to it but um, it looks really bad on them when they don't tell what their plans are kind of regards to the event it just looks like they're ignoring the players and people really don't like that 
so that's one thing if they they should have done that would probably make people less concerned about this whole event anyhow enough talking let's go do the dungeon so as we begin the dungeon we're gonna do the old-fashioned pick up the snow fun times um let's see let's get all the snowballs um you can make it a hotkey so make sure the magical snowball you know the difference so you only have a limited one for magical those do aoe attack and uh snowball does a regular attack so i'm just gonna do a regular snowball attack um that's gonna spawn everything let's see if it's broken or not because if they go freaking as fast as that F1 turtle does, so I'm gonna be mad. I don't know if you guys know about that F1 turtle. I bought it for one time from the market. That thing goes really fast. So sometimes. Uh, uh, am I gonna fail it right away? Alright, I'm gonna use a special bomb. Let's see, let's get a few of them knocked out. Alright, I'm, I'm doing it, guys. Look at me. All grown up. Why they fly so low? Okay, it's pretty simple. Um, first few stages, I'm sure it's gonna get harder a little. Come on. Okay, so we're good. So far, so good. Let's keep it going. Sometimes you have to jump when it says you're not in the line of sight. Um, yeah, because the way it's angled. So try to use the... For me, it's left click for the normal ones. Try to use as much of normal ones as you can. Because uh, you want to save the special ones for where, when it gets harder. You know, like a save up a backup situation. If you, if you know they might be a little bit faster than you and get to the present before you... You hit them, you'll probably just spam that skill. But for now, try to keep it um, simple. One person, one rabbit at a time. Let's see. One, let me do a jump hit, will it? Um. Maybe it does. It just keeps saying I don't have them selected even though I selected them. Okay, so this one they're going in the line. Probably want to get rid of these first. Um, So far, so good. We're uh, getting there. Almost to the end, hopefully. Okay, so I don't really have to jump. I think that's something I took from last year's event. So maybe this year I can just like stand still. I know some of them come from the sides sometimes. Uh, I'm going to use a special one here. See that whole side got cleared. Just keep checking, you know. Um, I think it's the next wave probably. I don't know if they're line up the same way. But there will be like two on those sides. No. Huh. Might be wrong. I use a special one. They were getting awfully close. So I got a, I got seven special ones. Wait, what? Uh, I use a special one. All right, cause uh, why is it using my arrow attack? Okay, so so it is different lining than last year. It looks like they made it easier. I can't complain. I mean. Makes it easy. 
and all right and then they do give you a gift box and you can win quite a few things which is nice I think you can get a mount as well so if you keep uh, keep doing it um, let's get that heck yeah will they even show Uh, uh, I, I guess that works. A dragon on top of Santa. Yeah, sweet. All right, so that was that. That was pretty simple. Let's go turn in the quest. All right, we're going to turn in, and uh, they give you the invitation. And uh, yep. So you know, I could do all those quests. I probably might <clears throat> later if I have. Well, probably not, because I don't need any more snowflakes and that stuff. But let's go ahead and do the dice game. Um, so you go to, you click this calendar thing, right, your daily rewards, and you just go to roll. So, okay, I already have that, but, um, plush wolf, lucky plush wolf, so it's, okay, so you add lucky to it. So those are good rewards. You have to do like a seven time six five four three two one um, and you basically do it sixty nine times and those are the f one turtles <laughs> yes <laughs> um yeah my my guildmates were just talking about it, and i that's why I mentioned it in the video because I remember how nice it is. I'll probably make a video oh nice. That's nice. Um, legendary familiar box. I wonder what that contains. So I'm, I'm gonna do the roll dice since this is part of the event. If you guys like, if that's all you needed, you can just go on with your life and do whatever you want. But if you wanna watch me roll the dice, that's cool too. All right, I'll be back. I'll make some space in my inventory for all these items. All right, so I made some <laughs> as much as I could for now. Not enough, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do the rolls. So our first roll, um, I'm just going to keep pausing until I get a reward. You know, that way the video goes faster. We don't want to sit here all day, watch me roll things. Let's go. So on first roll, I got the gold card. That's the buff. 3% pretty weak. Let's go next. All right, so I actually got the Sage gift box, and this one is the one we really want to see. And let's open it. All right, that was that, that, that's embarrassing. Let's go next. Gonna hit roll, and we got the legendary familiar box. We do want to see this one. I hope it's not the one from, you know, Akrad region where you just get Akrad stuff. Oh, you get it as a mount. Can it's tradable? Untradable. So you right click and it becomes your mount right away. You don't have to tame. All right, let's keep going, guys. That that's nice. Depends on what mount I get, but that's nice. All right, special rewards tab. These ones are always usually nice, but I wanna. Okay, that's uh, maybe not this time. I'm just gonna give you a thing. What it does? Let's uh, right click it. Gives you drop money total and drop rate. So it's not bad. You wanna collect. Keep collecting these and keep them for. When you do something important that gives you money like uh, CBH or World Bosses or something, I don't know. CBH is one for sure. Um, and big dungeons, you know, legendary dungeons. Let's keep going. So we got a Valve uh, close that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you guys don't know the stats, here it is. You get move speed, overall attack, 5%. And if you get another, you get 10%. Um, yeah, so it's kind of same as a permanent, but not really. Gives you a little bit more, maybe. Um, yeah, this one itself gives you move speed, overall attack. So it's nice. Keep keep these in your inventory. Keep collecting them. Blast Gold Talisman, pretty self-explanatory. Um, okay, so that one just stays in your money drop increase 100%. Holy, you... Yes. Do a lot of stuff, dungeons and stuff. 100% is a big. We got a fishing rod, self-explanatory. We got the cane weapon. Um, 
when you right click it just gives you a lot of uh, overall attack and stuff it's kind of like one of same as basically valor weapon with the different stats so just keep it so we got plus five extractors these are very valuable um plus seven is better of course but do keep these for a hundred percent sure don't throw them away and another legendary box this is fun because uh Calypta, all right so that's a uh, level 40 legendary that's nice so and since we did do uh um first time around it's given us a Adzalix carapace whatever it's basically a crafting material for furious and tires and banana line and tires if you are low level this is probably a waste of space in your inventory because you know for you to upgrade your crafting stuff to five I think he is on five level or four. It's gonna take you forever, and by that time, um, you probably get a lot of. Probably level seventy will be out, and you will not be. F yeah, just if you're a crafter right now, you can keep it in your high level. If low level, that's a throwaway item. All right, we got another random reward. Let's go in the middle. Heck yeah, fun boxes. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. Oh man, how? Well, I used to have like 200 or something, so it's good. 30 Ellens is always good. So we got minus 4 spaces, which is good, surprisingly, because we wanted random rewards. Um, Not this time, though. Those only give you familiar experience, and they look terrible. Oh, I can't do it right now. I'll do it later. Self-explanatory. We got another minus 4. Jesus. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get better luck. 1, 2, 3. I always pick the middle line. Oh, that that's useful though. Uh, repetitive item for the candy. I'm just gonna skip. So I'll keep skipping if I get a repetitive stuff. Besides these legendary boxes or the ones I feel worthy. Let's see how far my luck goes. And okay, this outfit actually looks good. And uh, it's kind of perverted though. So, but it's kind of good. So. I'm a guy, so I come on. So for the second time around, we got a fun box. Um, let me unbox it. Why do I keep getting these, man? I should be getting rune golems. Oh, we got lucky with the fun box. I always go in the middle for some. Oh, this... There we go. There we go. We we're looking forward to it, but last time we got this 200 tempering stone, so let's uh, hope for some luck. Oh, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. This is good stuff. And we got right next to it a legendary mount. Oh, uh, got another gravian. The gravian is so nice, but uh, it could be a good seal. But come on, with the current updates and everything, this we we can. And this truck, <laughs> I hate you guys, bro. My poor inventory, man. My my stash is full too. Uh, I gotta stop collecting. Keep collecting useless stuff. Well, you know, if you look at, well, that's kind of useless. But but then again, Benotian, that's kind of useless. But people need it. So. Yeah, let's keep going. All right, we got the reindeer outfit, y'all, and uh, uh, maybe I'll make a separate video on this how it looks. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Hey, we landed on the star ten times collecting did your familiar box and if I get a Karen or a Jamirod, I will be pissed. Alright, I'm still pretty mad, but uh at least it's not Jamirod or Karen, I hate you. You know when this event is over like let's say six months from now where nobody knows what this F1 turtle is I will be showing off big time. That turtle goes so freaking fast. I'm gonna collect as many as I can. Alright, we got uh, five times around. Let's open it. 240, and it can go to plus 25, so this is very, very good. Very good, very good. Hey, we got the. Uh, Saints gift box, so 
last time it gave me that, and before that it gave me some terrible stuff, so let's try to get rid of this dress that nobody wants, please, please go away. And so I'll get rid of this, since um, I have a lot of those. If you run HU daily, you're not gonna need that, trust me. Oh, come on, you, you're kidding me right now. All right, we got a box, a box, a box. Sorry, familiar coin. I like you, but ah, I don't like your large familiar XP potions more. So, all right, Celestia so lucky box. Please luck. Um, maybe, maybe. All right, so that has a rare chance, rare drop chance, and it's permanent. All right, that's what makes it so cool. There's a taming talisman and a uh, pad of impact. I really don't like any of these enough to actually put. Um, because, come on, we get shoulder thing that gives you rare drop chance like every other time. Come on, guys, don't make me do this. Fine, since I get free 30 Ellens every time, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, I'm not, I'm not too mad, but it's straight. Oh, it's straight. All right, guys, I might sell it. All right, all right. Don't take my word for it. All right, let's keep going. Finally, I got the feast. Can we right-click it without? Because there's two boxes. Oh, sweet, sweet, we can. So restores mana and stuff. Use died in 20 seconds for 30 minutes. Noise. And we also got a pet. <sighs> this is gonna be tough. So the pet is tradable, marketable, and such. You can post it stuff. Um, I'll do a different video on this pet as well. I'll do different showcase for the pet. Um, for reindeer, for the faster reindeer, and come back flash wolf uh, and Rabini for saint. Also do one on the F1 turtle. So I'm planning to do quite a few, quite a few videos to showcase different things. All right, so let's consume this because I don't want it. And let's use a lucky plush wolf. I already have a video on plush wolves. They probably look frigging exactly the same. Where's my plush wolf? There we go, all the way to the bottom left. Plush wolf. And let me check if there's any difference. Move speed 20. Um, I noticed that versus move move speed 20. Overall attack 25. Overall attack 18. So this thing is weaker, I guess, than the original. Um, move speed 12 for the base. Um, move speed 12 for the base. So they're about the same. They look the same. They act the same. Must be the same. They just got a extra freaking letter in there or something. No. Extra word. Nope. The same actually. What am I doing with my life right now? And we got this again. So sorry 100% health potion. You gotta go. For this, a turtle squad. So if you guys didn't notice, um, let's see. Let's put that down. Death ring right there. But anyhow, that's the whole F1 turtle squad. All right, guys. I'm keep getting a little lucky with these things. Now what should I get rid of? <laughs> Let's get of the emerald. I don't. I don't. Yeah, it's alright. Okay, okay. So let's open it up. And yes, that is. Um, well, the weapon doesn't need that many as much as armor does. You probably need armor refining stones more. Cause come on, for your armor you got all of these things and this thing, and for weapon you only got this. So definitely. Definitely want armor more, but I'm not complaining. My weapons are already all refined, but you know, new gears coming out probably, hopefully soon. So we're good. 
And there we go. Every time I get from this to this, I don't know. It's a. Uh, I'm not complaining. All right. What should I do with all this? Something's gotta go. Let's. That's gotta be the servant's outfit. I feel it. Drop money percent. Character XP. <laughs> Why is it so different? <laughs> Hold on. What does it look like? And it's, it's all right. It's all right. Let's see. Hemion. All right. Let's keep going. We got two spaces now. All right. So we are done. Officially out of dices. That was difficult. And stand by for the freeing um, white Christmas lucky boxes. Unpack. I'll unpack a few of them. Um, more than three, and so I'll make showcases of almost a lot of these things. All right, just uh, keep tuned, and thanks for watching and all the good stuff. So the event, I think they kind of fixed it. Kind of, come on, all those freebies that we like. All right, peace out, guys.